Hello friends, this video limits and derivatives part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 15. Let's understand the meaning of derivative graphically. We have done this. Again, we'll do this just to make the concept clear. This is let's suppose a graph y is equal to fx. It's in further it's graph, the red one. Make it red. This is the graph. This is the graph for this function y is equal to fx. If you see this function, we can draw this. See this function, the value of this function at a is f of a, and the value of this function at, at a plus h is f of a plus h. Correct? So if you go from here to here, this point, if you go from here to here, this point, chain in y is this value. So derivative is nothing but dy by dx. That is nothing but chain in y is f of a plus h minus f of a correct this is the chain in y y is this is f of a this is f of a plus h from here to here the chain in y is f of a plus h minus f of a and change in x is nothing but a plus h minus a because this value is nothing but a plus h minus a this is a plus h this is a this is cancel so we can see that f dash of x is nothing but uh, at the point a is nothing but f of a plus h minus f of a by h and that is the derivation. Just graphically we are proving this and if you see that since we are talking about this point a, h is invisible. This h is very 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 close to a. Just to explain I made this h bar so we can make this uh, slopes. But actually, this a is uh, this a plus h is very very close to a is somewhere here. So h is insignificant. H is tending to zero. So this is the limit. H tends to zero. This is the value of slope of this function at a point a. This is the slope. Okay. We will take some more example of derivative. We have to find the derivative of f x is equal to x square. So with that means we have to find m dash of x, right? At any point, because I'm not telling that I want to find derivative at a or b or c at any point. So f dash of x, x is nothing but f of x plus h minus f of x by h, and here h tends to zero. Correct? This is the formula. So we put this value here. This becomes x plus h whole square because f of x is equal to x square. So f of x is nothing but x plus h square. x square by h, where h tends to 0. So you solve this, what you get is x square plus x square plus 2hx minus x square by h. Limit h tends to 0. x square plus h will take common, then it becomes h into h plus 2x, right, by h, limit h tends to say, same thing, we do h common, this h, h cancel. So our formula turned out to be limit of h tends to 0, h plus 2x, this is the value. Now I can rewrite this as, I'll rewrite this here, this is nothing but, limit of h tends to 0 of h plus limit of h tends to 0 of 2x now we'll put h is equal to 0 so what we get is 0 plus 2x and that is 2x that is the answer we could have put h is equal to 0 here also one in the same thing so there also here also we get 2x so we can see that derivative of x square is 2x very simple what we have done, we have used the formula f of f dash of x is nothing but f of x plus h minus f of x by h. And we have got the Now we will try to find the derivative of fx equal to lambda. Here also we will do the same formula. f dash of x is nothing but f of x plus h minus f of x by 
h and h tends to 0. So this becomes f of x plus h is a little bit 1 by x plus h and f of x is 1 by x divided by h limit of h tends to 0. We'll solve this equation. So I'll write it here. So what I'll get is x plus into x into h x minus x plus h. This is what we get. We limit now h tends to 0. Correct. This x x cancel minus h is there. So minus h this is not by limit of h tends to 0 minus h by h into x plus h into x this is this also cancel so what we get here now we can put the value of h equal to 0 because if you put h equal to 0 it is not 0 by 0 form so this is nothing but minus 1 by x plus 0 into x and that is nothing but minus 1 by x plus and it is that is so Derivative of my 1 by x is minus 1 by x squared. What we have done, we have just used the formula f less of x equal to f of x plus h minus f of x by h. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.